Sony Pictures was hacked on November 24th. The hackers obtain and have released a lot of sensitive data on employees' email conversations, unreleased movies, and even scripts to movies in production. The FBI and the president believe North Korea is behind the hack in retaliation for producing the movie, The Interview. Many experts believe otherwise. Let's get to the facts straight, now. I am Intel Mike, expert analyst, and I built a supercomputer to help me simplify the world's biggest stories. Sony's problems became widely known on November 24th when employees saw a message on their computer screens. The image is a bit morbid and the hacker group, GOP, alternatively known as Guardians of Peace and God's Apostles, introduces themselves in a list of demands. Sony called the event an IT problem, but it will be evident soon that it is much worse. Experts believe that the hack probably took months to orchestrate and Sony also had been warned by God's Apostles on November 21st three days before the computer screen hack, that they would receive an attack if they did not pay money. This is not the first time Sony was hacked. On April 10th, 2011, hackers stole data on 77 million users from the PlayStation Network. So what data was taken or destroyed? The hack on November 24th did an unknown amount of damage to da data on Sony's network. Two days later, on November 26, five of Sony's movies started showing up online. The movies included Fury with Brad Pitt that was currently in movies at the time. Also Annie, Mr. Turner, Still Alice, and To Write Love on Her Arms were all illegally being shared online. All these movies except Fury had not been released to theaters yet. In the days following and into December, more and more information is leaked online. Salaries of top executives and actors and directors. A list of employees past and current and some information about them. Film budgets, a recent version of a script for an upcoming James Bond film, PDFs for passports of employees and celebrities, and the list goes on. The timing of the November hack has created a lot of sus suspicion that North Korea is behind the attack. North Korea expressed their frustration over the movie, The Interview, in the following terms. The interview was an act of war, and they promised merciless countermeasures. That was back on June 25th, easily giving them time to hack Sony Pictures. North Korea is upset because of the plot of the movie, where the CIA asked two reporters to kill the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. The movie is a comedy, but clearly depicts the Korean leader and his administration in a poor light, creating a dislike for the movie. So with a clear motive and strong statements from North Korea, this seems like an open-close investigation, right? After all, the FBI concluded in about three weeks that the patterns used and other evidence prove that North Korea was behind the attack. President Obama said this in his last press conference of 2014. Uh, the FBI announced today that, and, and we can confirm that North Korea engaged in this attack. Uh, I think it says something interesting about North Korea that they decided to have the state mount an all-out assault on a movie studio because of a satirical movie. Yeah, with all that said, many cyber activity experts have proposed their concerns over how the FBI came to their conclusion and the lack of evidence they have provided so far to prove North Korea's involvement. In addition to the experts, Russia and China expressed the lack of evidence presented by the United States. The cybersecurity firm Norse claims that they know who did it. They claim it was an inside job from a former employee who was a technical who had a technical role that was laid off in May. Norse reported their findings to the FBI on December 25th. If Norse is right, then the FBI and the president are wrong. That will make trusting them in the future a little bit more difficult. The Sony hack is a big deal, regardless of who is responsible. It is a warning to all companies to beef up their security. It is a wake-up call to those that believe their email is private, that it is not private. If you are worried about your email being hacked, delete your emails. This story also highlights the fact that the global underground market for malware is real and that it's not too hard to take down systems like Sony. There's also going to be a lot more fallout from the data that was released. Keeping your data private is not that easy today. Thanks for watching the episode of Intel Mike. For more information and to see the Intel graphic of Sony hacked, visit IntelMike.com. 
Make sure to subscribe to continue getting your news simplified and straight with me in my upcoming videos.